So I understand what you're doing, and I'm sorry that you're going through this. However, we cannot have you guys walking in the middle of the roadway. Okay, it's interfering with the flow of traffic. It risks you getting hurt, or one of them getting hurt, and someone else getting to a crash. Okay. So I understand. I don't know if you have any. Did you have any permits? You have to also have a permit to solicit. discredit what you're going through at all. I understand you're probably going through a lot of pain, but you can't be out here walking in the middle of the roadway. Okay. How many of you are out here? Four. Four? Okay. Do you have a way of calling them so they can all come here so I can tell them the same thing? Okay. Well, I need them to come over here too, because I'm sitting watching him yeah, in the middle of the road too. What's that? I don't buy. I go home. Well, I need to tell them too, because they're doing it too. When did this happen? Where? France, Europe. Where? Europe, France, France. Was that your daughter? Your niece? Was she like vacationing over there? Was she living over there? Yeah, living. Oh. that you're going through that. However, we can't have you guys walking in traffic, okay? Someone's not paying attention. I mean, you almost got hit when that lady pulled up when he was crossing the road, you know? People aren't paying attention. It's a busy intersection. We can't risk you guys getting hurt, getting killed possibly in a crash, or someone else getting in a crash, yeah. okay? Right. So another thing is, too, you gotta have a permit if you're gonna be out here as well. And again, you cannot interfere with the flow of traffic, okay? I wish you guys the best of luck, okay? I'm sorry that your family's going through this. If you can, just relay the information to yeah. the other guy. Yeah. I don't know where he went, yeah. um, but please be careful. Please be safe, okay? Oh. Do you guys have any ID with you? No, so no. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a middle name? 
middle name? Do you have a middle name? This. No? Mario. Okay. What about your birthday? Yeah, mom, yeah. Thank you. September 14th. Okay. And what's your name? Mm -hmm. Like me. What's that? Like Dimitri. me, Dumitru Gabriel. Your first name? Gabriel. Gabriel? Gabriel? And what about your birthday? So 20 July. July? Uh, July 20th? 7. 7, yeah. 20 July. July okay. is 7. What year? Uh, 25. 2005? 2005. And what's. Emil. Emil. What is it? Dumitru Emil. Emmy? Emil. Emil? E M I L? Emil, yeah. Dumitru Lady. And what's his birthday? Tra three? Junior? June. 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 June 3rd? What year? Se seven. 2007? Yeah. Three days ago? Okay. So in September, did you have another niece named Maria that passed? Huh? Ish, I am. You and your two sons were on the other side doing the same thing. Collecting money for a funeral. Me? Yes. Your name and your date of birth that you gave me? Yeah. Three days ago is happening. No. No September. No. So what funeral were you trying to save money or collect money for in September? No. I. You're lying to me. No. I don't like being lied to. I don't like it. I swear. And the fact that so you're, you're... We have videos. Your face is on. Me. Video I recognize do. you from last time I talked to you and your two sons. In Jacksonville. In. Here. Here. On the other side. Yes. Oh, I swear. It's, it's, you swear? Yeah. You're going you're gonna to swear to God? Really? I don't know what well. That's a shame. You should be ashamed of yourself. Is the, you should be ashamed time. of yourself trying to do this in front of your two kids. It's first time. No, it's not. I am telling you, I recognize you from last time I talked to you, and the name and date of birth you gave me, and the same story you gave me is the same one you told the other deputies on the other side of Palm Coast Parkway by Beltaire. Yes, it is. Stop lying. You're lying to yourself, you're lying to me, and you're lying in front of your kids. This is the kind of mom you want to be for your kids? Lying? Lying to people for money? Really? Let's start over. Why are you collecting money? What do you need help with? My niece died. 
Ex Pinta. Get out of here. Get out of Palm Coast. Do not let me see you doing this again. Do not let me see you doing this to your kids again. And that goes for whoever's down the block still, too. Mm -hmm. The other people down the block. Is anybody else with you? It's my... Let me, let me put it this way. Next time I see you out here with your two kids, I'm calling DCF. Yeah. And I will be sure that you're going to get every citation I can think of. Yeah. But this is not okay. You lying is not okay. You want your kids taken from you? Putting them in danger? Allowing them walk in traffic, collecting money, lying to people? Okay. You need to start telling yourself the truth first and stop lying to me, him, and everyone else. Well, I know you gave your names, but you have any IDs on you? No. Nothing. No passports, no identification cards. Where do you live? What address? Address. September of this year. No. Mm -hmm. Dimitri is name common. No, it's not. No, it's I not. I am Romanian. Okay. From Romania. And in Flagler County, there's only one person that popped up, and that's you. I. Yep. And my child. Yep. My, my son. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Wearing green vests with two juvenile males holding a sign saying they're collecting money for a funeral. So again, do you want to keep lying? I don't make this. It's first You're time. You're a liar. You're, You're, a liar. You're lying. You're lying. My Stop name. Stop lying. Yes. Your name and your date of birth. And I talked to him last time by goodwill. Goodwill. Him. Or goodwill. With you too. By Beltaire. Yes. No, stop lying. Stop lying. 
I understand if you're going through a hard time and I'd be more than happy to help you and give you resources to help you with whatever it is that you need to help get you by. Because I get it, it's been a hard year for a lot of people. Finances have been very hard. Not everyone can afford to get by. And I'll be more than happy to help you with that. But you won't stop lying. I can't help a liar. What is it that you need help with? How can I help you rather than you coming out here with your kids collecting money and lying to people about it? I don't lie. I don't lie. My brother is in front. Please. Well, then she didn't just die three days ago. Then who were you collecting the money for the funeral for last month, or in September? You're gonna get absolutely nowhere in life by continuing to lie. I promise, I come, I don't come, I go home, with my children, I do not That's not up to you. That's up to us to decide at this point. Because you are you and your two kids are a reoccurring issue. And I'm not going to sit here and blame them because they're just doing what their mother asked them to do. They're, lead, they're following your example that you're leading for them. So this falls on you as a mother and as an adult. We get to decide what happens from here. This is the third time, second time that I've talked to you. It's hard. I get you're from another country, okay? And a single mom, right? My mom's from another country too. My mom, single mom, two kids. She did what she had to do, but she never lied. She was honest about her work and how she earned her money. That's what you need to do to set an example for these two. You really think I wanna be chewing you out in front of your kids and lecturing you? You're a grown adult. I'm closer to age in your, with your kids than you. I don't need to be doing this, but you need to start being honest. I know that it's hard, I get that, and I will help you if I can, but you need to be honest. That's all there is to it. How long have you been here in America? How long? Seven months. Seven months? So, were they born over there too? Or were they no, born here? Romania. Where were they born? Romania. Okay. And how did you guys get here? Do you have family? Do you have... This isn't, this isn't the example you should be setting as a mother. You and I both know that. Lying and lying to people for money isn't the way to do it. People will give, people will help. You gotta find the right people, but you're not gonna find the right people by lying.
bus go in this side. So you took two buses? Yep. Do you remember what bus? Jackson. Sorry. I don't know. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? A little bit? Do you understand? Do you understand what I'm saying? A little bit. I speak a little bit. So look at me and tell me, why are you out here? For Maria. Who's Maria? My niece. Your niece? What happened to your niece? Accident. The boyfriend is in life, but Maria dies. And where are they at? Hmm? Where are they at? Uh, I'm friends. And when did this happen? Three days ago. You're lying. You gave me all the indicators that you're lying. You gotta understand, we're trained to read body language and understand when people are lying to us. You gave me three huge indicators that you're lying to me. Besides the, besides the fact that I talked to you before, and before it was for someone with cancer. Someone. I, with cancer. Someone, don't know who. One of your family members with cancer. And then the last time it was for the same thing. I come from cancer. Not you. You guys were saying you were collecting money for a family member that had cancer. I think it was a baby. Hey. I'm one child. of you. Pretty sure it was him. Or him. One of them. Oh. It's first time I come. No, it's not. We were just out here talking to you in September. You Same cancer. thing. Same thing, collecting money for a funeral.
didn't right now. We have the two kids here and I don't do well with smoke. 